Cedric Benson was a star, one of the most successful running backs at the University of Texas. According to the Austin American Statesman, he racked up the second most rushing yards in the Longhorns football history during his time there from 2001 to 2004. He won the Doak Walker Award, given to the nation's top college football running back in his senior year, and was a contender for the Heisman Trophy. He was a number four overall draft pick, going to the Chicago Bears in the first round, and would go on to play for the Cincinnati Bengals and the Green Bay Packers. He rushed for a total of 6,017 yards and snagged 32 touchdowns during his eight years in the NFL. And then it all came to a sudden, shocking end. On Saturday, August 17, 2019, the 36-year-old former football star posted a picture of his BMW motorcycle to Instagram with the text, my Saturday evening. Later that night, while riding the bike with a passenger on the back through the hilly roads of West Austin, Texas, Benson crashed into a minivan that had pulled out into the road at an intersection with very limited visibility. The crash resulted in the tragic deaths of both Benson and his passenger Amna Nuzam, a 27-year-old audiologist who had recently gotten her PhD from the University of Texas. The crash also started a fire in the vehicles, but the two people in the minivan were not severely injured. So what happened? Well, we know that the intersection was notoriously dangerous because of limited visibility due to the hilly terrain. Austin Police Sergeant Eric Wilson told the American Statesman, Unfortunately, this area has really poor visibility, so if you aren't really careful or you are going slightly over the speed limit, it is very difficult to stop. We always tell friends that come over, you know, go out to the light at Mesa, don't take a left here, it's too dangerous. Some reports also suggested that Benson may possibly have been affected by minor amounts of alcohol and marijuana found in his system. Benson's autopsy report showed that he had a blood alcohol level of 0.02 at the time of the crash, well under the legal limit in Texas of 0.08. And as for the traces of marijuana, Toxicology experts told Austin's ABC affiliate that it was not possible to determine whether or not he was impaired at the time of the crash from the levels that were detected in the autopsy. Fans around the country mourned Benson's death, though of course it hit his friends and family hardest. His brother Dominic was devastated by the news, while former coaches and teammates spoke out publicly about their grief. The American statesman quoted Benson's former coach at UT, Mac Brown, who said he was a true spirit one of the toughest players we've ever coached, if not the toughest. And Tom Herman, UT head coach at the time of Benson's death, said in a statement posted to Twitter, we lost a true Longhorn legend, one of the best running backs in college football history and a really special man. Though he was best known for his work on the football field, his work after retirement may have been even more impressive. Professionally, he worked in business development at Gold Financial Services, a mortgage brokerage firm based in Central Texas. But his true legacy comes from the Cedric Benson Foundation, a charity for low-income families he also called Nuff Said, which stands for Nurturing Underprivileged Families Cultivating Educational Development. We were like the Midland Youth and Educational System and Sports as powerful and awesome as it is on the business end. According to the Nuff Said website, the charity sponsors free youth camps, provides educational resources, and encourages and informs participants to become more aware of their civil rights. The organization's mission statement reads in part, Cedric's mission to inform and educate the underprivileged youth of Texas lives on through these programs and Nuff Said's sponsorship. And the tragic loss of Benson and Najam led to at least one small change for the better. Following the accident, area residents were finally able to get the dangerous intersection rebuilt with new safety measures to ensure that no more lives would be lost there.